Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit different video today and uh, it's gonna be a how-to video. So bear with me because it's the first one I've ever done. Uh, behind me, my Gobi rack finally came in. Uh, I ordered this four months ago and that's just how long it takes to get them usually. Uh, all the reviews I read say it's worth it so I went ahead and did it. We wanted a beefier rack for Grace here because um, we go camping all the time, we go off-roading and we usually take people with us and we have a dog so by the time you pack the deep full of firewood and all your camping supplies there's just no room for people in there so uh, it's a full body rack, it's going on top, uh, it holds 300 pounds and 800 pounds static so it's a pretty beefy one and it also has the ability, ability to hinge back if you want to take the hard top off um, which I never do just because just because I have a system in here and I I welded a frame together to hold the subs up inside and the way it sits on the hard top back here. Maybe you can see it. It sits on top of the hard top, so uh, I don't mind leaving the hard top on. I can still take the doors and the freedom panels off and everything. So um, if you're interested in a sub a rack like this to hold subs up top. Um, just message me and I'll, I'll try to work with you. I don't really, I can measure stuff. I, I didn't keep the connections with drawings or anything that I did it with, but um, I can try to help you out if you want to build one yourself. And I did have a big box when I bought the Jeep. The previous owner had a three sub box back here and it literally took up the whole trunk. So I built this and it gets it up out of the way and plus it gives you some nice, uh, frames back here to just I hook my shovels to I can hook stuff to it and um, and this space I left intentionally here because I eventually my thought was to put a uh, 22 inch TV in here because a lot of times we'll go camping and we have kids with us with the people that are with us and they like to watch movies and stuff so I thought that'd be cool to put in there um, so that's what that space is for but these are rock rails we're putting on today Got these off Amazon. I'll put a picture in so you can see what they are in the description if you want to get them yourself, if you like the way they look. Got some uh, steel tubular fenders I got off Amazon as well that match the rock rails. So those are going on. I got the Hello 500s. Uh, these are amber colored to match the rest of my lights. And I got the Black Magic covers because I, I just didn't want the white covers on there. And they come with the white covers. And I just got a switch pod for all my lights. So. Uh, in a couple weeks, I'm going to be putting the Terraflex two and a half inch lift on. It's on its way. And I got 35s and 33s at home in the garage with different rims. Um, I'll probably run the 33s first before I do the 35 just because I want to re gear it. And so I'm going to run 33s until those wear out. And then when it's time to switch tires, I'll put the uh, 35s on and re gear it hopefully. So that's the plan. Let's get busy. So we got the rock rail switched out. This is the new ones. They look really good. They fit great. Didn't have any issues with them. We're working on the fenders. My buddy Max is helping me. He's doing the fenders. Yeah, I think they look really good. They're they're solid. These things are heavy. So we just unboxed the rack. It's very well packaged. Everything is wrapped tight and. Looks awesome. We're just going to go through and make sure we got everything and then we'll start putting the rack on. So we just went through and made sure we had all the pieces we needed for the rack and everything seems to be here and it's good. Um, first step in the instructions is to put these corner pieces on here. Uh, there's one on each side and there's sticky tape on the back so just make sure you clean the uh, Jeep, let it dry, and then go ahead and stick these on. So the next step is to put these pieces on. This one fits around the gas uh, tank right here. So just peel the, we'll peel the back off of these, stick them on, and this one right here will be for this side. This will be the same on this side and it goes right up against the back tail light. Uh, we have to pull the tail lights out to get to uh, 
There's a bracket that goes down inside there. But yeah, that's the next step. Stick those on. So in order to get the back bumper off, it is those two bolts right there. And then there's these four right here in the middle. And then there's two on the set as well. And then the bumper should come off. We got the back bumper off. And now we are working on the passenger side pillar bracket. So right here, there's gonna be putty right here that you're gonna have to remove out of there. And then we'll spray some clear cut on it just so it doesn't rest. Pinch plate goes angles down and it goes on the inside of your body. Said in some cases you might need to use a rubber mallet to all the way up. Metal right here. That beat seriously super close to it. Okay, think we're good. Go ahead and tighten down. There's an actual bolt going through the frame now. So it's definitely easier when you have two people. Um, but you just want to make sure you got this all the way up against the body, pushed up as high as you can. Why you have to remove the putty to be able to get it up there. And then the pinch plate goes on the inside of the body, up on this side, with the angles down, and then just tighten those two bolts down. And we'll do the other side. So before we tighten this bracket up here on the, the underside, we need to slide this oval piece down behind here, make sure it's lined up uh, with the bar and the seam on your Jeep right here. Make sure it's all centered. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten this back up. Make sure you have the bracket pushed all the way up against the body of the Jeep. And have the pinch plate on the inside of the body. Where the pinch plates at they came with two flat washers and a lock washer and i ended up taking one of the flat washers off because i didn't think we need i thought they just had extra but uh, as you can see there's a gap and it's not making the lock washer sit how it needs to sit so we're going to pull these back off and make sure there's two flat washers one lock washer and these on both sides so now we got the two washers on there, that's what it should look like, nice and tight. So the next step is to put this bracket in up here. You put it uh, facing the front of the Jeep, so the wheel is right here. And there is four of the, these brackets, this is the shortest one, it goes on the passenger side, uh, facing forward. And then we're going to take another one right here the other three are the same length same size and this one's gonna go from the front facing towards the back underneath the first one that we put on and then we're gonna tighten it down a little bit but enough so we can still move it and then once we got everything lined up we'll go ahead and uh, tighten everything down it slips up underneath the first bracket that we put on, the short one, and the other three brackets are the same size, and it's just going to go up all the way to the top, and then there'll be another bolt that goes through, so we need to make sure you line these holes up so there's a bolt that goes up through this hole right here, and then you pop the tail light off so you can get to that on the inside. There's a metal plate that goes on the inside, and I'll show you that. So for right now, we're just going to... 
just tighten them down a little bit. We're not going to go. Adjust it to get that center one up in there. So, let's see, where's the hole? Yep, it's going to line up something like that. And then, next, we'll take one of these brackets. There's two of these, one going each side. And this slot here will line up with this hole here so we can put a bolt all the way through all three brackets. This slot on this side needs to line up. There's uh, these two bolts here we go in this way. And then there's a hole right in the middle that's threaded. So the hole in the middle needs to line up with this hole right here. Take this hex bolt with the washer on it. This will run up inside, and there's a plate on the inside, which I'll show you. That's it's threaded and screws in to that plate. So I just want to show you that plate that's down in there. But that the pointed end faces the back of the Jeep, and then that two inch hex threads up through. So now we got this bracket in. This is a two inch hex screw that goes up with a lock washer and flat washer. Kind of left them all loose here. And then we're going to take another hex bolt, lock washer and flat washer, and go through this bracket into the thread, threaded hole on this piece. like so and then I think we can go ahead and uh, tighten everything down starting with this one here I think we are solid. Cool. So we got the back brackets uh, secured, the back bumper is on. And now we're gonna undo these four bolts here and put the uh, front frame piece on. So on each side, we'll take out those four bolts. on those four bolts on the side. I'll loosen the lights on, or the bracket, brackets of these uh, lights I had on here. And it still fit, it's really tight, but they fit, so it's awesome. So I think this bar is an inch higher than the last model of the Ranger Rack, because these are seven inch lights that are gonna go up here and there's plenty of room on top so awesome so this this is the next piece going on this goes on the back it hooks to these brackets that we put on here with some nylon inserts here I believe they go one on each side and then a bracket or uh, the piece over there that I just showed you goes around this here. And this is where it actually hinges when you want to take the hard top off, you can hinge it back here. All right, so we got this back piece on. There's just plastic insert bushings that go into the pillar here. And then the bigger bolts that you have, you just use a washer on each side with the uh, large lock nut. And so this is where it's gonna be able to hinge. I don't know if you can see that, but you can move this. So if you want to take the hard top off with the rack on, you can hinge it back. And if you support the back, and then you can take the hard top off. It's not, I mean, it, it, I've, I haven't done it, but I've seen people try it and they say it's pretty difficult to do, but it's easier than taking the whole rack off. So now we are gonna put the top
top of the rack on and connect the back piece to the front piece here, which is this piece right here. Top up here, it's actually pretty heavy, so it's best if you have two people. Um, we're just gonna connect the front two here first. There's two holes here. There's gonna be a short carriage bolt that goes through the front, and then just a flat washer, lock washer, and locking nut on the back. We'll get all four in, loose, and then we'll tighten them all down, and then we'll head to the back and uh, connect that back there. All right, so those are the two carry bolts we got in there. There's two on each side. And I just let them loose, but now we're gonna go ahead and tighten them down and then we'll move to the back. All right, we got the front all secured. Now we're gonna go ahead and secure the back. There is four bolts that are gonna go right here in this bracket. And then on the other side, it's the same situation, but I think uh, we hooked the ladder into the same bolt, so we're going to do this side first. So I just got this side bolted down, four bolts, flat washer on each side with the lock nut. Um, next, we're going on that side, and then we're going to hook the ladder on, and then it's just the lights on the front. Wire those up, and I think we're good. All right, the rack is secured. It looks awesome. And it is solid. Um, we are now going to put the ladder on, which is right here. The ladder's going on this back driver's side, right here. And then the lights, and we are done with the rack. All right, guys, that wraps up the rack. Uh, I just finished re uh, re wiring everything up. I rewired my lights I had on here to this uh, switch pod in here. So this turns on all the lights. And then I have two more switches for future lights or whatever I want to use them for. We got these ambers up the top. Rack turned out awesome. Very heavy duty, I was up walking around on top. Hope this video helped you guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask.